Hi everyone, welcome back to Arting with Mrs. Gill and I'm Mrs. Gill. Hey, today we're going to be comparing or at least looking at some different acrylic markers. Typically I use Posca markers, but I thought I'd try out some others to see uh, what we have. So I'm going to swatch 24 of the Zenicolor Expert Series 24 acrylic markers that I purchased on Amazon. Okay, I purchased these on Amazon. Okay, so we're going to uh, swatch. Okay, this is a, uh, looks like a gray. And I am going to, there's a brush end, a brush end of these and a fine line of these. I'm just going to be using the brush because I just want to see the color. All right. Ooh, that's pretty nice. This is a gray, obviously. And uh, that's not bad. And that's the brush end. So that's not bad. Please like me or make a comment so I can get some more views. I appreciate you. Okay, that's a gray. And I'm using these cardboard pieces that I got. Um, and then I got some color paper. So this is a gray. That wasn't bad. We try that one. The black one is what I use to make all the squares. So we'll use that one, black one. And these are Zenicolor acrylic markers. These are less expensive than Posca's. And uh, I just wanted to see how they were. It's going down pretty darn well with the brushes. So again, these are less expensive than Posca markers. Yeah, there we go, that's a black. Okay, let's see what else. I'm just gonna put a bunch out here so I don't have to reach <clears throat> and block your vision. Okay, let's go silver. Okay, see what we have. Wow, that's not bad. Yeah, that's a nice little silver. Kind of a blue silver. Okay, gosh, got that going. Let's try, this looks like kind of a pinkish. Let's try it. Oh, wow. On this orange, it looks a little different. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of a pink violet. Boy, that silver is shining pretty nice. Yeah. Pink. This looks like a dark gray. Uh, they don't have the colors on what they are, but this is a dark gray, it looks like. Wow, very dark, almost black. Yeah, goes on, this stuff goes on good with this cardboard paper that I have. Okay, yeah, that's a gray. Um, let's see, we have a brown here. Oh yeah. These are going on well. Little brushes. Poscas don't have a brush. So these are a brush. Brown. Mm hmm Pretty good. Pretty good. Now we got a blue. It looks like a darker blue. Oh yeah, that's nice. They're going on pretty well pretty good. That's a royal blue. I like that blue on this orange. Uh-huh. Can you see that? Yeah. 
How's everybody doing today? I'm doing good for a Tuesday. Awful windy where I'm at. <clears throat> this looks like a purple to me. Let's try it. Uh-huh, I like it. That's a pretty, pretty on this orange background. The paint's coming out pretty good. Uh-huh, yeah, not bad. These are less expensive than the ones I normally use, so I thought I'd try them out. Ooh, this looks like kind of a off-white taupe or something. Got some green in it, looks like, a little bit. So what's going on in your world today? Give me a holler. I appreciate you, and I do come, I uh, return comments. This is a lighter blue. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Hmm, these colors are surprising me with how vivid they are. And these are less expensive markers than Posca, so know that. But they sure are pretty. I like it. Like the colors. Again, these are Zen Color Expert Series 24 acrylic markers. Let's put these over here. Whoop. So we can see. Okay, let's see. We got some green. Got to let the paint dry. Don't forget that, everyone. Don't forget to let the paint dry. Oh, that's a different shade of green, isn't it? Uh-huh. These brushes are nice. And then on the other side is a nib. So you can use that, too. Okay. Let's try this. Yeah, it's a yellow. It looks like a yellow to me. It's satisfying uh, painting in squares. I like the sound as well. It makes. This looks like a red right here. I just bought these. Uh, Oh, it's kind of a, a pink red. And uh, I bought them a bunch of different markers so that I can test them out with you all. Since I seem to be addicted to Poscas, I thought I'd, well, I better try something else. So now I'm going to, ooh, white, wow. I like that white, do you? Can you see that? Me making a square and coloring it, isn't that satisfying? I think it is. My videos are for re relaxation and satisfaction. That's what they're about. And I've seen that a lot of you like me making squares and coloring them in. So that's what I'm doing. This is gold. Whoa, that's a nice gold. Uh-huh. Yes, I like that gold. Mm-hmm. These are pretty swanky. This looks like a lavender to me. Yep. Definitely a lavender. Yes, I like those colors, don't you? Let's see. Yeah, I haven't done these, I don't think. I'm trying to figure out which markers I've used. Okay, I've used all those. Okay, now we're gonna go to a different square. And I made these squares out of the black, the black one. 
Okay, so let's see. We got uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24. So we should have six more, and we sure do. Six more. Okay, let's see. How are we doing on time? Okay, good. This looks like kind of a jade green. A green with some blues. Boy, the colors go on so nicely. Colors go on so nicely. Look at that. It's satisfying to color in a square. I hope you're enjoying watching me. Okay, we got kind of a paler blue or some kind of blue. Ooh, gorgeous. This looks like the sky blue of Posca. That's gorgeous. These are acrylic markers with a brush end and a nub nib end. Okay, we've got orange here. We'll see if that, oh yeah, that kind of comes out a little bit, doesn't it? Can, can't see it because it's pretty much the same color. We have violet. Uh -huh. That's a neat color too, the violet. Then we have aqua, looks like aqua. Whoop, straight. It's an aqua color. Oh yeah, very bright on the orange. Mm -hmm. That's a nice color too as well. And then we have kind of a raspberry pink or something, that's very pretty. Very nice. And I'm missing two more. I don't know what happened here. Did I do them all? I didn't do this one. Oh yeah, that's kind of like a... different kind of color. Yeah, pretty neat. Oop. And then... Uh, what other one did I miss? Got all those. Uh, I don't know. Got that other yellow. I'm missing one, so I don't know. That's orange, purple. We'll go with this one again. Because I like it. Very nice. So I do like these. Um, the test would be, once you finish a project, putting a cover on it and seeing if the color strip. All right, so this is all I have for you today. I went over the Zena color markers, okay? And I think they're pretty good. I hope you enjoyed today. Again, this was about testing some different acrylic markers. Thank you, and come back to Arting with Mrs. Gill. Bye-bye.